everyone. Welcome back to another week of Heritage Kits. And this is our final week in our model United Nations. The real United Nations or UN is an organization of many different nations around the world. They send representatives called delegates to meet and discuss ways to solve different problems the world faces. If the UN could do its job perfectly, there'd be no more hunger, no more wars, and perfect cooperation between nations. If that sounds impossible, well, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is these goals are impossible for the UN to achieve. The good news has two parts. One, God's plan to send Jesus back to earth someday will bring about such a perfect world with no sin, sadness, pain, or death. Two, God's power is at work in the lives of people who are imperfect to make the world a better place. We don't have to be perfect like Jesus to be used by God in his amazing plans for the world. All we need to do is have faith. In fact, there's a whole passage in the book of Hebrews about people of faith whom God used to do incredible things. I have got a lot to share, you, share with you this week, so stick around and I'll tell you all about it. Before we jump into our story, let's review our big picture question one more time. Say this along with me. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent his son, Jesus, into the world to rescue sinners. One of the coolest parts of God's plans is that he chooses to use people in them. He doesn't need us. On our own, we would be powerless to do anything. But when we have faith, God gives us power and uses us to do wonderful things. Three weeks ago, we learned about the spread of the gospel from Jews to Gentiles after Peter had a vision. He realized that the gospel is for all people. Soon after that, Barnabas went to Antioch to encourage believers. Other church leaders wrote letters to encourage those who had faith. One letter, Hebrews, taught us that Jesus, our great high priest, brought a better covenant. This week, we will look to the book of Hebrews again to learn about the ways God uses people who have faith to do incredible things. This week, our Bible story again comes to us from the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 11, and our story is called The Hall of Faith. Check out this week's Bible story video. The writer of Hebrews explained that faith is being sure that what we hope for will actually happen. Faith is obeying God because we trust Him. By faith, we believe that God created everything from nothing just by speaking. Many people in the Bible had faith, and this pleased God. Abel had faith when he gave an offering to God and God accepted his offering. We must have faith in order to please God. By faith, we believe that he exists and that he rewards those who trust in him. Noah had faith too. He obeyed God by building an ark to rescue his family. Noah warned other people because he trusted that God was telling the truth when he said a flood was coming. God was pleased with Noah. Abraham had faith when God called him to leave his home. Abraham did not know where he was going, but he obeyed God. God made promises to Abraham, and Abraham believed that God was going to keep his promises. Abraham's wife, Sarah, had faith. She trusted God to give her a family, even though she was too old to have children. Sarah was 90 and Abraham was 100 when they had their son Isaac. Abraham and Sarah went on to have many descendants. God gave them a family as numerous as the stars in the sky. Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses had faith. Rahab had faith when she hid the Israelite spies in Jericho. King David had faith too. All of these people 
trusted God and so did many others. Having faith was not easy. Many of these faithful people suffered and they all died before God's great promise. The arrival of Jesus came true, but they believed that God had a wonderful plan. God was pleased with them because they trusted him. God kept his promise to send the Messiah, his own son, Jesus, to rescue people from sin. Jesus is the true hero of the Bible. He gives us faith. We can look to him because in him, all of God's promises will come true. Friends, God is the God of all nations and someday all nations and all of creation will sing his praises. We can all rejoice and be glad because Jesus' work on the cross is finished. He made the way for us to be free from sin and when we have faith, he uses us in his amazing plans. I'm so glad you have joined us for these last several weeks at our Model United Nations, and I hope to see you real soon. Have a great week, everybody.